Hello, I'm Theo Olsvorn from the Netherlands. In the next 10 minutes, I will introduce you to MF Lab. MF Lab stands for Modflow Laboratory. It is an open source groundwater modeling environment for the Modflow family of programs. It is Modflow, MT3DMS, and CWOT. To make it available to everybody, it was put on code.google.com. There you can get your own copy using the instructions provided on that site. Now there are so many good and fine and mature GUIs out there, graphical user interfaces that serve the groundwater community well every day. So the question is legitimate. Is there a need for something for a new environment, a new groundwater modeling environment called a MF Lab? Here are the objectives of a MF Lab. The first two are probably the same for other GUIs as well, but the last five are quite unique. Avoiding any limitations imposed by GUIs, to make modeling 100% reproducible, to parameterize the models for later reuse as templates, to maintain zero redundancy and to be free of charge. Now for whom do you make such an environment? Well, in the first place, for my own MSc and PhD students, for my colleagues and for myself, of course, but, pros, but perhaps also for people who need modeling features that are not yet provided by GUIs and standard models, and perhaps others like consultants seeking more flexibility than standard GUIs provide, and also seeking reuse of models for similar and future problems to, to use them as templates, for principles seeking fully controlled and reproducible ISO 900X compliancy and for principles seeking easier sharing of models between different consultants. Then what is MFLab? MFLab basically is a set of functions and scripts in MATLAB to facilitate building groundwater models of the Modflow family, to generate input files for Modflow family models, to read the results of their simulations, to analyze and visualize these results, and to read an existing model into the MATLAB workspace. And further, MFLAB contains numerous examples to demonstrate its use, and that can also be used as templates for future models. You only need three files for a model. There are two, um, there are two MATLAB scripts, MF Adapt and MF Analyze and one Excel workbook. The MATLAB script MF Adapt contains instructions that generate step by step the arrays that constitute the model, like the eye bound array, the connectivity arrays, the top and the bottom of the layers, and also the boundaries like the wells and the drains, etc. It doesn't contain any data. The Excel file, or better, the Excel workbook, is a multi page container for the parameters that need to be set for the different models. Every model has its own worksheet within the file. To the left is the package that needs the parameter, the second column is the parameter name, and the third column is the parameter value. Each parameter name has attached to it a comment which contains part of the manual which explains the meaning and the use of the parameter. In this way the workbook becomes a manual in its own right. There are also worksheets for Modflow and CWOT. There's one worksheet with all parameters defining stress periods. There's also one worksheet with all parameters pertaining to layers like wettability and layer types. Finally we have the NUM worksheet, the name worksheet in the Excel workbook. It allows you to activate or disactivate the different packages for the different programs. MFLab deduces from the packages that are active which program you want to use. Finally we have MF Analyze. This too is a MATLAB script. It doesn't contain any data, it only contains instructions to read out the output files of the models and to interpret and visualize them. Now let us see how MFLab works. Once the three files are ready, the user invokes MF Setup. 
MF Setup is a MATLAB script. It is the backbone of MFLAB. It interprets MF Adapt, so it generates all the matrices and arrays that are necessary for the model. It, it extracts from the Excel file all the parameters and then package after package generates the input files for the different models. It deduces which model you want to use and then launches those models and sits back while the models produce their output files. Once the user has verified that normal termination has occurred, he or she invokes MF Analyze. MF Analyze reads out the output files, interprets them, and produces visualizations. Once finished, your directory contains numerous files, not only the ones necessary for MFLab, but also all the input files and the output files of the groundwater models. Now they can be done away with. You only need the three files, MF Adapt, the Excel file, and MF Analyze, to regenerate exactly the same model at any point in the future. Next to regional models, we have some specific applications like Aquifer Thermal Energy Storage plus Geothermal Energy, Aquifer Storage Recovery, Brackish Water Recovery, Salinization Studies, and a multiple that is over a thousand simultaneous cross sections for shallow groundwater table dynamics in agricultural areas. Now let's move on to the animations of some of the examples. The first example was given by Langevin in the manual of SeaWorld version 4. Warm, fresh groundwater enters the cross section from the left and flushes out cold, salt water to the right. There's two interfaces. Red to blue is the density interface and blue to yellow is the temperature interface which lags behind. The black lines are the streamlines. They are the contours of the stream function. The rotation caused by the density will be shown when I stop the influx from the left at 40,000 days, which is here. And you see how the rotation is caused by the density front. The example is an island in the Okavenka Delta in Botswana. It's a flat cross section and the island evaporates lots of water and therefore it attracts surface water from the surrounding which flows through the subsurface onto the island where it evaporates and this creates this streamlined pattern. If I start running you will see that the uh, salt accumulates at the bottom at, at below this island and causes density flow which gives nice and interesting patterns and also transports naturally the salt down to the bottom of the aquifer. To change a flat cross section into an actually symmetric one the only thing you have to do is go to MF Adapt and add a parameter actual is 1 as shown here in line 10. Then the island becomes a circular island and the and all patterns are circular. The next example is a circular pumping station extracting fresh water above a brackish water aquifer while salination occurs and then at a certain moment brackish water is extracted, desalinated and the brine is injected below the aquitard and see if it works. Here we go. And here we have the extraction brackish water and the injection of the brine below the aquitard. And you see that this does a nice job. Aquifer thermal energy systems get very popular. Their numbers grow from year to year and more and more of them have to share the aquifer for their seasonal energy storage demand, which is simulated here using empty 3 dms in a one layer system. And here finally we have some of the aquifer thermal energy systems in 3D. In conclusion, MFLab works. Four MSc students and three PhD students are using it. The script 
MF Adapt and MF Analyze make the models 100% reproducible in the future. Zero redundancy is achieved. Parametrization of the models makes them very flexible. And no longer are we dependent on GUI support. MathLab is extremely convenient for cross sections, including actually symmetric ones. MathLab is great for streamlines, the stream function, streamlines that quantify the flow irrespective of varying density. What about the future plans? We will move ahead with open source alternatives for MATLAB, mainly Octave, but also Scilab. We will have a wiki in different languages, Farsi and Arabic are under construction. We will organize the developers community. And we will have all interesting animations on YouTube. For owners of an iPhone or Android smartphone, just type in YouTube MFLab plus Groundwater to find all animations immediately. And finally, I want to thank Aileen Peuter for what she has done for the Groundwater community during all those years, for organizing all these beautiful conferences. And Aileen, thank you, thank you very much. I'm so sorry I cannot be there, but I hope to see you in the near future. Thanks again and live well and see you next time. Goodbye.